Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we started off the new chapter, chapter 3, or I believe they're called episode. Uh, episode 3, uh, having a funeral under a bridge for Lily. Um, and we got, we basically wanted to tell Snow about the scene that we found, uh, you know, with Crane's, you know, fantasy of Snow White. Um... And we got interrupted with the Tweedles, who basically told us to back off on Finding Crane because they want to. Even though we tried to get them to leave, they caused a fuss, and, you know, Holly and Gren and Big B got shot, and thus starting the, the episode proper. So we cut back to the Woodland Apartments uh, in the office where we found the, the mirror shattered. And it looks like Crane took a piece of it, so we couldn't find him right away. And we got healed up by Dr. Swinehart. And, you know, tried to figure out where to go next. Um, Buffkin said that he overheard Crane saying about meeting his witch at 2 a.m. But we don't know where the witch is. So Bluebeard shows up saying that we suck at our jobs and that he's going to help regardless. So we had an option of going either to the Tweedles place... Uh, Crane's apartment or to the trip trap where Holly is because uh, there might be there was some stuff uh, of Lily's left before they got rid of it and we decided to go to the Tweedles place so that's where we are now <clears throat> excuse me oh hi Sheriff Bigby Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. I'm not but familiar you know, with Flycatcher. Uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb. They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Did you make an appointment? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Otherwise... Well, it's nice working here anyway. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. I'm going to have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. That was rude, bro. Cigars? Or well, you know yeah. about this? Nah, no. Okay. Inbox. Let's check their inbox. Dear brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, oh my God. Dumb. He actually mailed this. They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. Okay. Let's see what the other's inbox says. Dear brother, dumb. I hate dogs, and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. Now, I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. Uh huh. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. 
Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh yeah, all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Huh. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, Apparently. fly catcher. I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Fair enough. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. They got a file on a bunch of people. Donkey skin. Really? Stole a photo from Crane Lovely. Find crane it hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. What photo? See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Yeah, we'll look at Crane's file last. Oh my god, Georgie has an this interest. Is worse than I thought. Wait till CM goes ahead. There's no ahead. Okay, Brannigan. It's Brannigan. Detective Brannigan? Oh. Keep an eye on her. Cinderella. I don't think we've seen Cinderella yet. Christmas is a girl. Huh. It's pretty. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under Donkey Skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. Wh what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. And it doesn't matter if they're really good at hiding their shit, but they're involved all right, in all of this. Do you get it now? Go oh, easy on the guy, man. <sighs> I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Well, I catch is a real bro. Is all this 
crooked man? I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? Uh, leave the money. As much as we need money, I'm not gonna play that kind of guy. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Yeah, we're running out of time. What are you looking for, exactly? Maybe I can help. An address? Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. Butcher? What is this stuff? What is that? Hey, Big B. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... thank you. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why w We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this. I wonder if Buffkin and Snow had any luck. Maybe they found an address. Or can check for a record on Auntie Greenleaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. Business office, this is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course. Because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. Um, yeah, I still, I still maintain that there's nothing in Crane's apartment. It, it, or, I'm sure there is something, but it would make more sense to go to the Trip Trap. I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Just, just be gentle with Holly when you get there, okay? <sighs> I'll give Buffkin the name and hope you find something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. We have 45 minutes left. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Now he's all buddy, buddy. Friend, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. 
Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, you really don't have a lot of time, guys. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Apparently. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. Thank God for that. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. Alright, alright, let's hit this drink. To the dead. Alright, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. God. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. 
What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Ren won't remember this. That's funny. Thought she'd be like a heavy sleeper. It's over here. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. You know, one thing I've never really understood, and it's dawning on me more and more as I'm playing the game. Why are why is Big B being vilified so much? He wasn't the only bad guy in the stories. The trolls are bad guys. Gren, whatever the fuck he is, he's definitely a fucking bad guy. He's a monster. Why are we the one being vilified so much? Because we're the sheriff and we're working for, like, the authorities? Like, I don't know. Snow seems to be getting a pass. Crane seems to be getting a pass. But, like, why us? Because... Because we're the authority? Because we're the ones that are, like, dealing with disputes and shit? I don't know. What is this? Bottle of wine. I'm guessing that's from Crane's table. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays? Come on, Holly. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. Thumbs in the back, eh? Or D, I don't know, can't tell them apart. Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't.
Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. AG? Makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. All right, and we're going to have to call it there. We're going to have to see what this whole fuss with Auntie Greenleaf is all about. See what kind of witch she actually is. I mean, it seems like she deals with like some black market or aftermarket stuff at the very least, but uh, we'll see all about that. It's very sobering, like the last couple of minutes, just kind of talking to Holly, you know what I mean? Like, it. As the sheriff, like, uh, as an authority figure, like, we really should be looking to the well being of, of all the fables. And it's. Again, it's very sobering just kind of talking to her like that, like, figuring out our motivations. Why are we doing this? Justice, like, that, that's what it's about. I, I, I mean, I wish I could give more of a broad answer. Well, no, I don't. I wish I could give multiple answers. I mean, I wanted to say for faith, I want to say I'd have, I have history with the killer, but it's... I want her to know that, like... You know, her previous uh, claims that Lily was missing is not going unheard. Like, we're, we're trying to do something about it. But anyway. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.